Thank you for joining us for this series on procurement. In this episode, we are going to discuss your starting point for a successful procurement team. Our goal is to help you break down the barriers of possibly one of the most important parts of any gala auction, and that is asking for donations. Right, Paul? That's right, Shelby. It takes courage and organization to have a great live auction and an interesting silent auction. Keeping the interest of your community throughout the evening is critical. Having items that are tantalizing both in the silent and live will take your evening to a whole new level. We're going to share with you these tips on how to get the ball rolling. Kelly, maybe you could share some of what we found to help our clients be more successful. Absolutely. You're both right about barriers and tantalizing items. Really big deal. We believe that the key to your success starts with the committee and an evening of massive brainstorming about the demographics of your community as well as who are your potential donors. Out of this, you will learn who knows who and maybe realize a community connection that you were completely unaware of. Discuss how many dinners you want to have, how many trips, and how many sports packages, and so on and so on. Exactly. Now, understanding how many items you will have, as well as what types of items you believe your committee will absorb during this process, will drive you to who should ask for the donations. Trying to match up the right member of your team and the right donor is essential for success. For example, don't ask a photographer for a dinner. Ask them for something photo related, like a print or a photo shoot, something like that. Silly example, I know, but set your procurement team to be successful, less stressful, and set a comfortable environment to make asking okay. Truly another reason why brainstorming is so key on these unique gatherings. That's right, Shelves. As auctioneers, we understand the difficulty in asking for donations and the fine line between not enough and too much. The ideas and people that you bring to the brainstorming session will determine your path, so pick them wisely. Have them come with a list of things they believe would work and let the, and let the session ensue. Yeah, this is basically your beginning point that we believe will start you off onto a successful event. Also, plan a meeting with this committee monthly or weekly, whatever you all decide in your brainstorming session and whichever day or time frame is comfortable for everyone. At these meetings, you will be able to keep each other on track, very important, and discuss any possible changes. Remember, it is very important to stay open-minded to all the ideas. Great points. So let's take the time to do a recap. Okay, quick. Choose your committee wisely. Plan a brainstorming session. Discuss how many packages you would like to have available for bidding. Match up your committee members with proper donation requests. And finally, set reoccurring meetings to stay on track. We hope you have found this quick and easy way to launch your procurement team helpful. Please check our future content where we expand on procurement strategies. And remember, keep organized, stay focused, and lean on each other for encouragement. Raising funds for a need in your community is admirable and all your efforts will be appreciated. No suggestion that you make is going to be a bad idea. Be excited and create energy in this brainstorm session for the ultimate outcome. And make sure to remember, great things happen when people come together for good. So until next time, good luck. You got this. And go be that change. <laughs>